Philippines, a rich tropical archipelago with 7,641 islands and over 115,830 square miles. Blessed with abundant natural resources that caught many tourists from around the world and made the country one of the world's most visited places in the world. But how did the Philippines have been discovered and where do we get the culture of hospitalization? In the year 1521, a Portuguese explorer named Ferdinand Magellan with other Spaniards attempted to sail around the world and came to Homonhon Island in eastern summer Philippines for their first circumnavigation stop around the globe and they discovered the Philippines where they also came up with named after their king which is King Philip II. During 1950, the Philippine Tourist and Travel Association, or PTTA, was founded with the goal of promoting tourism in the Philippines, increasing the accessibility of vacation locations, as well as the quality and affordability of tourism products, creating a tourism culture among locals and growing recognition of tourism as an effective and efficient tool for the Philippines' socio-economic growth. During 1880 to 1900s, it is the making of a town Iloilo as a queen city. Iloilo City came from the shape of the city cut by the river, which looks like the shape of a nose, irong irong meaning nose like, later became Iloilo. Other accounts point the origin of the name to a fish. In year 1880, Iloilo was referred to as the most important commercial fort in the Philippines after Manila, by the year 1900s, the city widely known by its sobriquet Queen City of Southern Philippines and became next to Manila for the most important and commercial town in the Philippines. It is according to Henry F. Fonteca. Iloilo Town also had their own alphabet, their own language, their own music, naive dances, folk songs and folk legends and stories. The early development of Iloilo and its progress toward in 19th century as the commercial and cultural center in the western Visayas were due to the favorable geographical, demographic, economic, and other factors. This is the first hotel in the Philippines. It is named Hotel de Oriente. The Hotel de Oriente was built in 1889 by Don Manuel Ferres Marquite, the father of Luis Perez Samanilio, owner of the Perez Samanilio building in Escolta. It was a first-class hotel and indeed, at one time was the only one in the entire archipelago. Don Perez Marquite selected the site in Binondo at the Plaza Calderon de la Barca or now, it is the Plaza Lorenzo Ruiz next to the La Insular Cigarette and Cigar Factory. In 1899, the options for fine cuisine were few but the Hotel Oriente was known for its first-class service and admirable cooking. Beside the leading dishes of the French cuisine, it served the national dishes of Spain so as to captivate the most fastidious eater. Next is the word Malayan. A well-recognized Philippine historian, Teodoro E. Agoncillo, mentioned in his book, History of the Filipino People, that hospitality and most Filipino traits were acquired from the Malayan traditions. In year 2001, the government adopted tourism among its pillars for sustained economic growth by attracting more visitors, extending their length of stay, and increasing the attractiveness of the tourism products of the country. The government, through National Ecotourism Strategy or NES, identified the goals of ecotourism as follows. First, to develop globally competitive ecotourism products. Second, to develop responsible ecotourism market. And third, to optimize community benefits and enhance the quality of visitor experience from ecotourism. 
Next is the word mabuhay. This became a well-known greeting in the Philippines as a way of welcoming foreigners in the country. Mabuhay, pronounced as ma-bu-hay, is a Tagalog word which means to live or long life. We use it like the Spanish do when they cheer viva or Hawaiians when they greet aloha. In year between 1972 to 1986, it is the era wherein former President Ferdinand Marcos declares martial law. A significant increase in foreign tourist arrivals can be noted beginning in year 1972 until 1980. During this era, several initiatives were undertaken by the government to boost the tourism industry in the country. As part of the Integrated Reorganization Plan of 1972 provided under Presidential Decree No. 1, DCI was reorganized that led to the establishment of the Department of Trade and Tourism or DTT, which was mandated to oversee the tourism industry in relation to the economic growth of the country.